Okay, ladies, so I decided to make my own video of how to make these um, displays for your jewelry, okay? So I'm just going to go through it very quickly. It's not going to take long. I'm going to talk to you about the things that I have for my bling bag and then how I, um, the things I put together to make the, to make the thing. So, first off, I went to um, Bell's Outlet. And I got an attractive box because I was using plastic containers to put into my bling bag. But I went ahead and got an attractive box so that I can put all my jewelry down inside of it. And it's pretty deep and big and it'll hold a lot of stuff. So um, this is now let me show you what it looked like before because this is how the ladies were looking at the jewelry. And it's kind of difficult to really get people to see how beautiful it is when it's just in these packages like that. So that was not, I knew that wasn't the best way. So I watched a video on YouTube a while ago, probably when I first started, about how to make these and her way of making them. And I said I was going to do it, but I just never really got the time. So this is what go, this is what's going to go inside of my bling bag. Now I'll probably use a little container inside of here, something about this size that could fit right inside of here for like my bracelets and my rings. And I'm hoping that it will fit. Let's see. Possibly it will fit. It's some jewelry still down there. So maybe something small like this or maybe even a little smaller for my rings and my bracelets. I might just put the bracelets in here. Um, the bracelets that have matches, though, you can also put with the thing that we're, that we're making, the um, display. So I got a box like this. This goes down like this horizontally into my bling bag. I don't know if you guys have ordered a bling bag. Let me show you what mine looks like real quick. So this is my bling bag here. I put mostly bracelets on the little pockets. Um, it's a really big bag, so it, it can hold your wallet or purse or whatever. Like I have this bag in here with my toiletries and stuff that I take around with me. I have a book in here, I have different things in here, but I wanna show you how big this is because you can definitely put your, bag, your jewelry box you get one like this right in there it may not snap but it will still go on your arm just fine when you're out and about okay so that's a great this that's why i went ahead and got this box because i think it's really cute and it stays closed because of the magnet is pretty strong so that's the beginning of this process okay um also i want to make mention that with my square I take my, I keep my square in this little box. The top part came off, but in this little container that it came in, I just keep it in there just to keep it safe, you know, from anything happening to it. Um, you probably got yours in the same thing. And what I do is just always keep it in a pocket of my bling bag. That way I always have the capability of taking credit cards. So if you don't have a square, make sure you sign up under my link. I can send it to you if I have not, or if you are um, someone else's consultant, direct consultant, that's one of my directs, then you can get their link. That way, they, um, if either one of you sign up, you'll get $1,000 worth of transactions with no fees for both people. So make sure you always use a link and make sure you always give your link to your new business partners as you guys are getting them. And then I have all kind of other stuff in the pockets, but that's irrelevant. And I usually put my keys and stuff on the outside so I can reach them. So that's the bling bag, and that's what this goes in. Now, so let me show you what I did. So here's, again, it's the finished product for one of them, what it looks like. I decided to kind of use a wild color for my colors and the things that don't look so hot on black. And then I'm just going to use black for, like, my silvers and maybe some of my golds. Just depends on, you know, what color I think it looks good on. Um, but I just think this stands out so much better than just having it in those little bags so I decided to go ahead today and do it. So what you'll need for this process, of course, you'll need some scissors. You will need, um, this is clear resealable bags. This is the six by nine clear resealable bags. This is um, 200 pieces. I will put this link in our chat so you can buy these right off Amazon. They were not very expensive. Maybe I think I want to say $8.99, but this is $200. So you'll be able to put 200 pieces of jewelry in this. So that's really um, worth it. So I got that. And then you can get any kind of cardstock you want. Um, I happen to have this kind at the house. So I'm just using this. 
and I had some orange one too, so I'm using that, the little orange color. So this is something I already had at the house because I'm a teacher, so you know I have stuff like cardstock. All right, so what the first thing I did was, oh, and at work, I made labels. I just got a big box of inexpensive labels and I found the template online and usually it'll tell you what the template is on your box of labels. And I just put my information, Kiana Smith, paparazzi um, consultant, um, put my website and I put my phone number. That way I don't have to put a business card in each one. I think that's a little more price effective just to use labels than to have to use all my business cards in this. So first thing I did was I took one of the six by nine bags. Now, if you just want to use a ruler and do it, that's fine. But I went ahead and took the bag itself, just me being lazy and not getting a ruler. Probably would work better getting a ruler because you actually don't want to make it six by nine. That's the mistake I did at first. I actually made it the exact size of the bag and it was too hard to get in. So I had to go back and kind of trim it around. So if you do measure it, you might want to do like a five and a half by um, eight and a half or eight and a quarter, you know, eight and a um, three fourths by five and three fourths, kind of just to make it a little bit shorter than the bag. So I would do that. Um, I would use the ruler if you want to. If you don't, you could do it like me. I measured it out on the paper. I took a big piece of paper, of course. I took a large, regular 8 by 10 piece of paper. And I put my um, bag on there. Okay. And then I measured it out. I knew I was going to have to fold a flap, so I didn't go up that high. So I kind of folded the thought of where the flap would fold down. And I just kind of drew it out like that. You can measure with rulers, like I said, and, you know, get your measurements correct. Because it is going to need to be a little bit smaller so it can actually fit in the bag. But that's, I'm, I'm not a precise person like that. So, I didn't feel like getting the ruler out. So, once I got it to, to where it fit, I checked it, of course. And I put the bag in. I put the um, template that I made in one of the bags just to make sure that it would fit. Plus, you're going to have a piece of jewelry on there. So, you also want to make sure that it's small enough for the jewelry to actually fit in the bag, too. So once I got it to a size where I felt it was would work very well, I made I made this my template so that I won't lose my measurements ever. And then I just made more pieces of paper, okay? So that's the first step, make your template. Now, once I have my paper made, I take a piece of jewelry. So I'm going to get a piece of jewelry out of my um, box. You can do long and short because the longer ones you can... Of course, drop them down further in the bag in the back so that when they're looking at it in the front, they will be able to see how it looks. But then they could always take them out and try them on if they just want to. Most people don't want to take stuff out and try it on. I've noticed that. But it's much more attractive than just seeing it like this because this doesn't really show them the true beauty of it. So, took the jewelry out the bag. Okay. I keep all my little baggies for when I um, ship. So I keep my bags for my shipping and you can do the same thing. And I have my, my, um, those little bags that the jewelry comes in. I have it in different boxes that they've, that I've gotten my products in. I just took a box for my longer bags, a box for my shorter, um, necklace bags. I have a box that has my, um, rings and earrings plastic. And then I have a box that has my bracelet plastic. That's for me. So I don't have to be scrunching through every single um, piece of plastic I have to find something that fits or works but that's how I decided to kind of um, design mine out you can do it how you choose that's just the way I chose so you take your piece of jewelry I'm gonna use I'm gonna show this on the orange paper even though I really want to use black for my silver stuff but it don't really it's not really like it matters that much so you take your scissors of course you cut this out with the scissors I'm not precise. Some of you may be, so you might want to actually measure in how far you want to do it. I just kind of go by what it looks like to me. So I take the piece of paper and I kind of cut it at an angle. I kind of look, maybe I can use my thumb. I don't know. And I just kind of cut it down the length of the scissors the way I put it in. And then go on the other side and do the same thing. Like I said, I'm not the most precise person. Some of you may be, you do your thing, whatever works for you. That's fine with me. It's your business. So then I have the slits going. They're going towards each other. So they're going down towards each other to create the little um, holder for the necklace. So then I'm going to take my necklace off of here. Okay. 
I don't want this to be a very long video, but I did. I said, I can go ahead and make my own training video. Why put a link when I can show you what I did my inexpensive way? So, so I'm taking the um, jewelry off the earrings, the necklace off the earrings. Now, if you have a bracelet or something, I'll show you kind of how you could also um, match that up. So I'm going to take my necklace, kind of make sure that it's laying as neatly as you want it to look to the um, customers. So, you know, kind of fix it up before you actually put it on the paper. And then I'm going to take my paper and I'm holding it up just for your viewing pleasure. But of course, I would lay it down to make it easier for me and try to do the same amount of links on both sides. Like I just did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven links. So on this side, I'm going to try attempt. I might can't because of how far apart I cut it, which is fine. It does. This doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's hanging pretty evenly on the piece of paper so you can kind of adjust it so boom okay i have that on there like that very simple and easy then just because i don't have a stapler or what the lady did on youtube is she used she punched a hole like she took the earrings which i'll probably do at a later date start doing it like that maybe maybe not i don't know she punched a hole in there, and then she tied a, um, some little ribbon, that little ribbon that, that's on the end of balloons, usually a little thin. She tied that to attach her um, her um, earrings. And then if she was adding a bracelet to it, I hope you're not seeing my butt because my pants are kind of down. I'm sorry. Um, and to add a bracelet to it, she just put that bracelet right up under there. That probably will be the better thing to do if you're doing um, the three-piece set because... A piece of tape may not hold all of that but for me right now because I just do things at the spur of the moment so you could do it like this if you're gonna try to um highlight a bracelet to go with that set which that does look good um but for me I'm just gonna show you how I do it with just the necklace and the earring so I try to center it to my my vision and then I just took a piece of tape. This is called inexpensive. We don't have to spend a lot of money to make money right now. Right now our goal is to make money, to build our inventory so we can have stores and have products for our customers. And then I just taped it down just like that. So now it's on there, okay? Then I'm gonna take my baggie. I'm gonna make sure that the part that I'm gonna flip over is gonna be in the front. So as I'm putting the jewelry in, this part will be able to be flipped back. So I got the part with the sticky stuff in the front. I'm going to just put my jewelry right in there. Oh, I'm missing a step. I did this when I was doing it myself. Sorry. One other step is if you choose to do the labels like me, is you would take your um, necklace set and you would take your label. And I just put it down at the bottom corner. You can put it wherever you want to put it on yours. You can put it in the center, in the top. It's up to you. It's whatever your aesthetics are. But I just put it like that to make it simple and easy. And you can also print your labels on other colors if you want to. That's fine. This is just what I had at work. And I was not trying to spend no money on it. So, um, And then I'm going to just put this down in. I'm going to make sure that everything is straight as I'm doing it. And then in the back, you want to make sure that the chain from the back falls in there so that it will, you know, go all the way down. And then straighten out your earrings. Put your back in again. And boom, it'll fall down to the bottom. I would just do another look to make sure everything is adjusted properly as far as the earrings and the necklace. It is. And then all you got to do is take your seal off. And these are resealable, so... Technically, if you wanted to, you could um, take the jewelry out of them when people purchase them and uh, keep your bags. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let them buy the whole little thing, and then I will just buy more bags after I run out because they're not very expensive, and it's 200 of them. So they're going to last a pretty good little while, um, you know, because this is just for my jewelry that's going out with me, out and about with me. And then, boom, you have it. Just that simple. That took us, what, took 14 minutes because I'm talking and showed you the bling bag, but it's not going to take that long once you get in the swing of it. And the bag looks nice. And you can just, um, if it's a longer piece, like I said, you would just drop it down here in the back. They're not really going to be, it, 
it's going to be prettier than just in a bag. So they're not going to be like, oh, she got the bag all down there. And it's, that's not that serious to customers. But to see it like this definitely looks um, more gorgeous to me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of them. Once I've made them all. Give me one second. I'm going to take the jewelry out that's already in here. Once I've made all, put all of my jewelry in those things. And you could even do your bracelets on this. You could put a whole bracelet in there if you want to. I'm probably not going to do that. But I'm going to take all of my little jewelry pieces that I've made. And I'm just going to lay them down in my um, back box. Okay. So that as I go around and I'm saying... Hi, how are you? Or they see something I'm wearing. Like, oh, those earrings are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. They were only $5. $5? Where'd you get those from? Actually, I'm a paparazzi consultant, so I sell jewelry myself. And you're just in luck because I have my bling bag with my beautiful $5 bling in it. Would you like to take a look? And they'll usually say, yeah, sure. I would love to see what you have for $5. And then, boom, when I open this up and they see this, you know, they can pick it up and Look at it like this. You know, it could even lay in there like this if I wanted to, but I probably won't because I don't want to get all bent up. But they'll just take the box and then they'll just start shifting through and they say, oh, this is nice. I like that. Oh, that is really cute. Is it long? And they can see in the back how long, you know, these are my shorter necklaces. The longer ones, you'll see the hanging in the back. And they'll say, oh, these are all gorgeous. Oh, I think I just, I'm going to get all three of these. Is that okay? Sure. I don't have cash. That's okay. I have my square. And then you're going to your blame bag. I have a square reader where I can read your credit card. Your information will be encrypted. I will never see it or know it. And they'll say, oh, okay, fine. I know I know square. You know, everybody knows square. And then they'll swipe their card and you do your little transaction and boom. Or if they have cash, here's the cash. Now, you make a decision. I always charge, usually charge taxes when I'm doing my um, square. Sometimes if people just can't find the change to give me um, 35 cents for on the $5 or whatever. I'll be a little lenient. Like, let's say they get three pieces. Well, the tax is, um, it ends up being 16 or five, I believe. If they don't have the five cents, but they have 16 or they have, I can make change for, I'll just take the 16 and give them the five cents. So that's up to you to be a stickler on that as you're going about. Sometimes I just charge $5 as I'm going about because it's kind of, it is kind of hard for people to drum up change when they're, they weren't expecting to purchase anything from you. So Sometimes I'll just go ahead and let the tax slide on that. Now, of course, my shows, my credit card transactions, those I usually always do tax unless I'm doing like a promotion or a little customer appreciation type of thing where I'm not charging tax that day. But other than that, this is just a simple way, cute, simple way to um, sell our jewelry and make sure that it looks presentable to our customers. So hopefully this was helpful for you ladies. And that's it.